check out my Tawny Emperor hatches, guys. My Tawny Emperor butterfly eggs all hatched, and now they are chowing down. Look at all these guys. There's a lot of caterpillars on there. All right, guys, we have Tawny Emperor caterpillars hatching. And this is super exciting because uh, it's been a long time since we've, <laughs> it's been 25 years since I bred this butterfly. And to finally see these caterpillars hatching out of these eggs is, is a relief because I put a lot of hours in going up to Lake Okeechobee, trying to find grabbed females of the Tony Emperor. And to finally get her, to finally get eggs, and the eggs are viable and their hatching is, is a blessing. So, um, let's see, you can see, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Oh, my iPhone zoom only gets so good, but what they're doing is they are eating at least a portion of their eggshells, which is common with most butterfly species and moths. Uh, they'll, they'll eat the eggshells, um, try and get a little extra protein before they start their journey. But these guys are doing well, they look healthy, and I'm excited to begin raising all these caterpillars. Now there's a bunch of them. So now if you look in this container here, we've got a number of these small caterpillars that have already hatched and ventured onto this leaf. And you know, so these caterpillars are coming onto this leaf here and they're beginning to eat. But this is just a, a, a leaf that, a twig from Hackberry that we put in here um, just in case this happened, but it's not in any water pick. So this is already starting to dry out. So I got to get these guys on some fresh leaves like Pronto uh, in order for them to be healthy. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to pin this egg cluster with these hatching caterpillars onto the same stem so that they have the best chance possible at survival. Okay, folks. So I have a water pick full of water a brand new stem of our hackberry host plant and it is inside of our water pick and you got to make sure by the way that the lid of your water pick doesn't have a gap because if it has a gap these little suckers will crawl down and i've had it many times happen where they crawl right down into the water pick and drown so you don't want that to happen so what i've done is i've pinned the egg cluster to one of the leaves now, as the caterpillars are beginning to crawl down onto off the egg clusters, they have nice fresh growth to to uh, crawl up on and begin to feed on. And so I'll just place them like this. As you can see, we already have another one here that started to hatch. Caterpillars are starting to feed there. But what we have to do is we also have to care for these little guys that began hatching already and started to feed. Now this leaf is no bueno. It's really old and dry. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm going to take a pair of scissors. Since they're all in one cluster, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna snip that off. And I'm going to I should probably get another pin. What I've done is I took another pin and I pinned the leaf with all the caterpillars on it onto a fresh leaf in a water pick. Okay, folks, we have a hatched egg cluster of the Tawny Emperor butterflies. And I wanted to give you guys just a quick glimpse of what this looks like to raise them. They are gregarious when they're younger. So that means that they feed together. And as you can see, uh, over the last couple hours, this group of caterpillars has begun to skeletonize this leaf. It looks like they already made short work of this leaf. And there's a few others that have migrated over to this leaf. So I put this stem in uh, the container probably five hours ago. And I just noticed these hatching. And so now guys, it's time. Um, here's what we're gonna do. I have a little stem. While they're this tiny, I have a little stem of the hackberry tree and we are going to keep it in a water pick and we're gonna keep the water pick 
in this container. This is a very small container, it's a 16 ounce cup. This won't last very long, guys. There, there's a whole ton of caterpillars in here. There's over a hundred. So this will probably last a couple days. And what we're gonna need to do as they grow, we're gonna need to upgrade them to a larger container and continue to pump food into that container, fresh food every day. So we have a lot of work ahead of us, guys, and we're gonna keep you posted as to what that looks like as time goes. So um, for now, Okay, for now, let me show you what this container looks like. Um, we curled that little leaf stem in here. You can see those the caterpillars are on the leaves on the bottom there. And what they'll do is they'll eat their way up the stalk. And we, we're careful not to snap or bend the uh, stem of the plant. And it's in the water pick, nice and deep, so it's, it's gonna be able to live. Uh, I've got vented lids to keep the humidity down and uh, like I said, we got to keep a close monitor on this because we want to make sure that number one, they don't run out of food. Number two, that their food is nice and fresh all the time because hackberry does tend to dry out quickly. Number three, we need to make sure that the condensation doesn't accumulate too much. As they eat and poop, uh, a lot of times condensation will build up. And if it gets too humid in a container, caterpillars will die of a virus and stuff like that. So we don't want that to happen. So we need to just pay attention as they grow older, as they start to mature, um, they're going to molt quickly into the next instar and we're going to need to up their container to a larger size. And we've got several of these egg clusters to go. So we've got a lot of work in front of us. All right, guys. So we have Tony Emperor hatches and in order to properly care for them, we need to remove them out of this little tiny 16 ounce cup and move them into a larger container. Because if we don't, we are going to kill them all very quickly. So uh, check out this guys. These things are feeding and eating, 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 eat little eating machines. So guys, I'm gonna cut some fresh host plant for them. Okay. So I'm gonna gently squeeze these caterpillars into this container. I need to go get some fresh host plant. There's an empty egg cluster. There's a little lonely caterpillar there that just hatched. Where's my buddies? <laughs> Go join your friends, guy. Um, I'm gonna cut some host plant and get this thing settled. All right, guys, I bought these big Tupperwares. I forget how much they are, but they've, I got them at Walmart. I think they're 18 bucks. And they've got these actual seals on the rim of the lid. They're cheap. I mean, they're not, they're not expensive containers, but uh, it's very important, guys, to make sure that when your container begins to look like this and you're starting to see tons of caterpillars and they're feeding and they're thriving and they're growing that this this is way too many for this small container this little what is it six quart container can't handle a hundred growing caterpillars so we're going to upgrade them to a larger container i i clipped a very fresh stem of the hackberry here and now I have it in a 16 ounce cup. And what I did was I cut little slices in the lid for the stem to go into. But you got to make sure, guys, that you, you cut at least six or seven different little slices so that the lid or the stem can slide into the lid without there being a big gap. Because if there's a big gap, then the caterpillars actually crawl down through the gap into the water and drown. So you got to make sure that we uh, don't drown our caterpillars. And you gotta make sure that there's no ants or spiders. I did a check somehow, some of these white-footed ants, these things are these things are a menace. Gotta make sure that the white-footed ants or spiders or any other pests don't make it into your larval container, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm putting my cup with my water pick in right up against this this stem here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to encourage our caterpillars to crawl up onto 
our new, oh, there's another ant. Come on, you're dying. No, do not eat my caterpillars. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm gonna encourage our caterpillars to crawl up onto the stems of our new growth here. And that's pretty much what you wanna do. Um, you don't wanna overfeed. You don't want this container getting too sweaty. Um, you know, this, this many caterpillars, if they continue to grow and be healthy, I may actually need eventually to split this container into two. So let's see how they do. Uh, I've got at least a couple days worth of growth and activity in this container, but there's a lot of caterpillars in this container, guys. There's probably over a hundred Tawny Emperors in this cluster here. And so let's see how they do and let's hope they grow. And maybe I bought four of these containers. So let's see how many we actually wind up needing. Okay, I got a couple nice young hackberry stems. One thing you got to do is try to shake off any, if there's any little spiders or any little other little predatory insects that might be on them. I'm going to add these to my container. Hopefully the leaves are palatable for these little guys. I think they are. And I'm going to try to... Put one underneath on each side so that they, they have easily find their way up onto some of these leaves. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is with this leaf, they have a, I have a whole bunch of caterpillars on this leaf. What I did was I'm taking a pin and I'm just going to pin the leaf onto another leaf so that the caterpillars easily find their way onto it and that and that leaf doesn't find its way onto the onto the ground of the container that would not be good so i'm gonna go ahead and cover this and tomorrow i'm gonna come back to this container with some a larger probably several larger containers because we're gonna need those larger containers uh very very shortly um these this will not be big enough for these guys in about a day or two So after a few days, our Tawny Emperor Caterpillars have now molted into what I believe is second instar. And I'm zoomed way, way in, so it's, it's pretty cool. But they're starting to get their little black and white head capsules. They've got these green stripes down the body and, you know, they're growing and eating very, very well. So... These guys are super cute. They are highly gregarious, as you can see, and they remain that way all the way through their life. So in this container, I've got, as you can see, a big cluster there. I've got some smaller clusters. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty decent size cluster there. But there's a number of little clusters on this stem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in the container. Yeah, there we go, there's a few more smaller clusters. I'm gonna put them back in the container and I'm gonna go cut some new growth, um, new hackberry leaves and add it to the container so that they have plenty of fresh new food if they want it.